Hello, beautiful, divine, feminine, positive polarities in this twin flame connection. Before we get deep into this topic, just wanted you to know our twin flame coaching program is 20% off for the month of May. And my loves, it is life changing. We have a lot of beautiful souls that reach back out to us, not even within their 30 days. Like flame has reached back out. And sending emails every freaking day about Twin Flames. Manifesting their person from our Twin Flame coaching program. On the link below. Now on to our video. Hello, my loves. We are having this Twin Flame deep soul talks with you guys. So you can get deeper in this connection. And we just brought up something and hung up the phone. Because we like to bring you guys in these huge um, shifts that we experience when we have these calls about our twin flames and being able to understand the energy. And something was just brought up recently about like a question from one of our clients, beautiful soul that said like, hey, how is it that I can easily forget other people, you know, like a soulmate? And then um, we break up. And then I get over them and then I move on. But this person, my twin flame, I can't ever move on. Why is it that everyone else, I can't move on and they're always with me, right? There's like this thing where it's like your twin flame is always with you because they are you. But it's like, why is it so easy to forget a soulmate or anyone else, but your twin flame is forever immersed, like immense, like has, has like flipped your world upside down to where your every, every consuming moment is revolved around them unintentionally it just is. When you wake up, you think of your twin flame. When you go to sleep, you think of your twin flame. When you're together, it's like more and more and more. Give me, give me, give me. And then when you're apart, it's like the end of the world. Why is it only like this with this person? And you said something really awesome, love. And I want everyone to say it. It was that that's what makes this connection different than any other relationship you've ever had because this one is simply based on energy so tell us a little bit more about what you were sharing before I said hey let's record <laughs> okay so it makes sense right we say over and over and over this is an energetic connection and you can experience those energetic surges with other people with soulmates but they go away they eventually sort of dissipate but because this is a purely energetic connection, that energy spike that you are experiencing with your person is always going to be there. That's why it never goes away. It's because everything you're feeling is energy. Those emotions that you're feeling are energy. That like high and low is energy. Mm -hmm. And you don't mm -hmm. get that with... You don't get that on a sustained period with someone else because mm -hmm. it's not that connection. So you'll, you'll experience it initially. You'll have those little surges in energy, but they'll go away. They'll mm -hmm. go away because they're not you because it's not an energetic connection. It's not the one thing that's tying you guys together, the energy, yeah. which this it is. is. It is. And I was just telling you how it is not time bounded, right? It could be one month, two months, 10 months, two years, five years, the same bond, the same draw, the same oneness that you both are with each other, whether it was in the beginning to where it is now, it's like constant. It's like always the same. It's forever it's like this infinite sign that goes on forever and ever because there's no time associated with it that's why we can have clients that say like why the hell can I get over them it's it's I've only been we were only like together for like three freaking weeks 
three weeks. Like what, what's gone into me? And it's like, because soul is timeless. Soul literally is timeless. It has no bound in time. And soul recognizes itself within that one shared unit in the two bodies and two minds in that one soul field that you both are, it doesn't matter. The three weeks or five years or 10 years, it's infinite. It's, it knows itself forever. It will always feel like you met them yesterday. That's how it yeah. feels. Always feel as fresh and um, as intoxicating as mm-hmm. you um, yesterday. I've, it's been years now for my person and wow. I. And I, I have to sometimes count like holy smokes because it still feels like I met him yesterday. It feels like the life you had before you met them. Really, the life you had before you met them didn't exist yeah, the way it, it does to, now. It belonged to someone else. That was not, it's not my life. Yeah. That's how it feels like that was a different person. Yeah. And then now that you are, so this is why it's hard to let go of your twin flame. It really is because now your life has changed. It's changed forever. You, you can't, you can't undo what you are. You are that. And so there's this thing that's just like, okay, well, fine. Let, let me, let me figure out how to at least be at peace with this, because if it's not, if it's not going to be with anyone else and it's only them, well then what was the whole like reasoning behind, right? That's what mine is asking. What was the reasoning behind why this person is so important. That's why mind makes it romanticized. That's why mind makes it like. It's why mind makes it where the journey is about them instead of your own ascension. Yes. So it feels like they are the only thing that matters in the world. So it must be therefore about them. Yes. Yes, it is. And it's, and it's so crazy how they are. Yes, your life changed. Yes, it, it, it goes upside down, but they were the catalyst to get you to your awakening, to get you to wake up. And that's the difference between the soulmate and your twin flame. Your soulmate, the soulmate, it doesn't give you that spiritual growth, that spiritual ascension, that spiritual deep inner alignment. It doesn't push you to know more about who you are and draws more into the soul your one soul energy, right? If it was just another soulmate, you guys can both interact through mind and there's no spiritual growth through it. It doesn't require the spiritual growth as opposed to with your twin flame. You're, you're so spot on. And this is because you can deal with the soulmate through mind. Like you said, there is no spiritual growth. And I'll say, I was with um, my like high school sweetheart for seven years. I was in love with him, fizzled out, and we um, were together. And I was, like I said, in love with him. And I remember the, I was crying a lot of our relationship. And, but there was never something, there was never something that pushed me to go deeper, to go deeper and just get past the tears. Why am I crying? Instead, I would just cry. I'm sad. But with yeah. my person, it was like, why am I crying? I feel like I'm being broken and I need to be put back together. It was just like this over and over. I'm broken. I need to be put back together. And it was like that, that almost like the kick in the butt of you better work on this because there's nothing that's going to make you feel better unless you work on this. Whereas my, my, my child, my high school sweetheart, it was like, I could go through this, um, sadness forever and I'm not gonna take it any further personally Mm -hmm. yeah and that's what makes it so different between the other when you can say you have changed about you about getting better feeling better you're working in your your spiritual journey like 
without well, even knowing on. real quick yeah. this is really important and I, I i should have said this before this is why you never get deeper because the moment i would cry with my ex-boyfriend he would meet me in mind and mm-hmm. do the hey they're there we'll work on this together hey they're there it'll all be okay hey they're there you're beautiful. Yeah. Hey, they're there. It, it would give be you the validation the mind needs. Yes. And, and, then, so, and your soul, your twin flames, they're, they're not going to be able, they're not going to be able to do that because they are you. They're not going to be able to meet you in mind. So you have to go with soul. them. And you have yeah, to be- they're requiring you to do the inner work. Yes. They need you to right. be in soul. There is no, hey, they're there. We'll work through this together. It's, hey, figure it out because this is a because I'll meet you and you figured it out. I'll be there when you figured it out and you work <laughs> through it. That's how it works. There's your soulmate, like, let's work on this together. Your twin flame is like, I'll be back when you figured it out. And I'll be glad to hold your hand and walk beside you once you figured it out. But I'm not going to do it. Listen to that though. Right. And this is why I kind of think about it. There is the, the, there's the, I stay with a soulmate who will validate mine and give mine all it needs. Or I have my twin flame who helps me get deeper in self, who helps me recognize who I am at soul. And they can share in my soul space energy. And you're constantly growing. The problem between the both of them is one doesn't help you grow, while the other one requires you to grow on your own. And so mind is looking at both of them like, you know, do I want to just experience always being validated and confirmed and knowing I'm okay, but not growing? Or do I want to grow and then share this oneness with this person that is, isn't anyone else? Because it isn't. It isn't like anyone else. So when they do come to be in your space, it's freaking nirvana. It is oneness. It is pure soul. And so even with a soulmate, a day with a soulmate who will validate you or a lifetime with a soulmate who will validate you, one day with your twin flame and this like immersion of source energy, that's how I would say it. Because when they're with you, it is pure present. That's why your world got turned upside down. You've never experienced anything like it. Nothing in this entire cosmos has ever, ever become as close to top this. But it was only to get you to soul so you can do it for yourself and experience it for yourself. And you have to keep working on that to get deeper in self. But with a soulmate, we would never be able to know this for ourselves. We would always need our soulmate to validate and confirm with us they're there. Joanne, it reminds me of parents, like when you're parenting, you're a new parent, you're trying to figure out what's going to be the best way to help my child um, grow, right? And I remember hearing, like, you don't want to always validate your child and tell them that their drawing they did was the best they've ever seen. Because when you do that, it doesn't challenge them to know what their weaknesses are, maybe, and to get better. And that's mm-hmm. what our twin flame does. They challenge our weaknesses, that our mind's weaknesses, and mm-hmm. they challenge us to get better without even knowing it. Yeah, it does. It is. And we, we understand our loves. We know this is different than anything else. This is what makes it a twin flame. When you have someone that constantly pushes you to go within, and when you go within you get that unconditional love from your one soul energy and you have it forever. You can, you can tap into this infinite love now that you've met them, now that you've met your soul. And that's what makes this different than any other soul, any other soulmate, because they don't share the one soul that you are. You get to experience the real you and there's another body and mind next to you, but you get to experience the real you. It's experiencing yourself in another body and you're both sharing your soul together. 
That's amazing. We love you guys. Love you. I hope you have an amazing day. Love you. Bye, love, love you.